it may be a controversial thing to say, but uh, the state, the strength of our ecosystem has never been better or stronger. Um, there are certainly headwinds, some macroeconomic financial headwinds uh, out in the world. Uh, there are banking issues uh, for a small number of companies in our space, but the, the sizes of the conferences that are going on in Paris and Denver and Los Angeles have never been bigger. And, uh, once the builders come into our ecosystem to, to build essentially an alternate economy, they don't leave. The speculators run in and they run out, but uh, building has never been better. But the re reality is you're running businesses in what is a very difficult environment. Sure. Consensus is has to cut a lot of jobs. We've seen across the entire uh, crypto economy here, job cuts uh, in, the, in the thousands over the past few months. Um, are you expecting uh, things to be on the up? going forward in terms yeah, of business? Absolutely. Uh, so volumes have increased in our ecosystem. Uh, the general level of assets, uh, whether crypto assets or other assets, are are positively affected uh, by monetary and, and, uh, and banking complications. Uh, and so uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of activity. And the broader markets, we've seen a big rally in a number of these, these crypto assets this year, Bitcoin, Ether uh, as well. Um, they've stayed resilient through everything going on. Why is that? Um, because they're sound. Uh, Bitcoin is a, a sound money. Uh, Ether is an ultra sound money. Uh, its monetary base is shrinking. Uh, and really the, the development, um, the use cases, the usability, the scalability in the Ethereum ecosystem is it's never been better and it's accelerating. Is it that though or is it the fact that there is a view that the Federal Reserve might not be as aggressive as their rate hikes going forward and so you're seeing money flow in to some but, of the more risky assets? Yeah, that's absolutely part of it. Um, it is uh, an inflation hedge. Um, it's a uh, it's a ecosystem uh, economy future hedge. Uh, the, there's tremendous building in our space and there's uncertainty and some dissolution in the legacy economy. Let's talk about the, the regulatory landscape as well because that really is, is top of mind here. A lot of people talking about it. Uh, just over the past few hours we've seen SEC well, issue a Wells notice to Coinbase. We've seen the SEC uh, alleged charges against Justin Swan of Tron. Um, the SEC has been very aggressive since the collapse of FTX using enforcement a, yeah. as a tool. Um, there's many that have said well this is not the right way to go about regulating the economy. What's your view? Yeah, I, I think uh, more clarity, uh, being more explicit, would be helpful uh, to our industry. Um, I think our industry has suffered from having two major factions lumped into one. The money crypto faction, the faction that wants to separate naive uh, investors from their money, and the tech crypto faction, uh, which is just building decentralized protocols, uh, infrastructure. Um, money crypto absolutely should be regulated. Uh, money crypto people uh, issued uh, tokens that uh, are rightly seen as securities. Tech crypto people are just technologists. Um, we're just building infrastructure that the traditional economy can use and our economy can use and, and you don't want to regulate innovation. Um, being the co-founder of Ethereum, I want to focus on Ether uh, for a moment because there was this lawsuit brought by the New York Attorney General uh, against KuCoin. Within that, um, the, the New York AG suggested that uh, if Ether could be a security, um, as part of that they say that the shift of proof to stake has incentivized users to, to own ETH due, due to the pooling method and the nature of the way uh, the Ethereum blockchain works. What's your view on that? Do you think it's a security? So anybody can say anything. It, it doesn't make it true. Um, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, um, that that sort of side swipe uh, was made, but uh, I don't think it's all that relevant. Uh, uh, Matt Corva and Bill Hughes wrote a piece on Consensus's blog um, describing exactly what's going on uh, with the Ether token in opposition to the claim. Um, and there's another great piece by Bill Hughes called Money Crypto versus Tech Crypto uh, on Coindesk um, that will really help people understand. It's a short piece. It's a very crisp uh, representation of the confusion that's going on right now. But, but people are trading it and staking it with the expectation of profit. Um, that is one of the, the determinants of what is a security. Sure. So is well, that not pe concerning? People buy barrels of oil with the expectation of profit. Good point. So you're confident at this point Very that confident. ETH is not a security? It's what if it is? Definitely not. What's the implications? What if it is a security? What are the implications? Um, I don't think there's any point to speculate on something that is uh, 
extremely unlikely. Just want to get your view broadly on the reggae. Are you frustrated in particular with the, the SEC at this point, uh, given the way they've gone about uh, the market so far in terms of enforcement? Um, I, I think our ecosystem is generally frustrated. Uh, I think uh, uh, some of us uh, believe that many of the actions are right and reasonable. Um, but again, more clarity. Um, uh, we've seen focus um, on things that, uh, that should see real scrutiny, and we've seen misunderstandings. Uh, once again, it's the difference between money crypto and tech crypto. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.